and I have some good news to share with you today. I'm very pleased to say that Cathedral High School will be starting our fall semester on Wednesday, August 12th. That will be our first day of school for all students, and it's about a week earlier than normal. As with all schools, we're very concerned to take precautions to keep our campus and our students and faculty as safe as possible. So I'd like to share with you some of the updates that we have planned for this August. When school begins, we will divide our campus into two cohorts using our school colors of purple and white. About half the student body will be coming on the day on Mondays and Thursdays. We'll call that the purple cohort. And the other part of the student body will be coming on Tuesdays and Fridays. We'll call that the white cohort. So on those days, Monday and Thursday, students will be coming on campus for on-class instruction for all seven of their classes. And another group of students will be coming on campus on Tuesdays and Fridays as part of their classes. So it's purple and white. On Wednesdays, we'll call that Phantom Day. And on Wednesdays, all students will either have their classes all online, or we may bring groups of students on campus on Wednesdays for special student activities, perhaps freshman retreat day, or a service day, or a rally day, or some bonding activity, so all the Phantoms feel pride in their school and pride in their classes. Now, to make us operate safely, Cathedral High School will be requiring things that other schools have done. Things like wearing a mask every day, of social distancing, of not gathering in groups. But we are also be taking three separate precautions that perhaps not all schools are doing. We, Cathedral High School has purchased temperature kiosks, two tablets, that students will come to campus, have their temperature taken, within three seconds, a no contact tablet kiosk will take their temperature to ensure their safety and ours. Cathedral has also purchased a disinfectant that is uh, applied electrostatically. An electrostatic disinfectant is what hospitals and airplanes are using to keep their environment safe. We will be doing that and using that device both daily and deep cleaning at least once a week in high touch areas. So these are extra precautions that we are taking. What you can do as parents, since we're partners in this safety, is to make sure your son does not come to school when he is not feeling well. And we'll be giving you guidelines as to what that specifically means. But what you parents can also do now during the summer is really twofold. One, Cathedral will be selling some masks for your son to wear at school and to show his phantom pride. But if you want, you can also buy him the mask of his choosing as long as it is in a solid color. No designs, no words on it. What you can also do as a parent and perhaps stock up is to buy some disinfectant wipes for your son. This is gonna be a requirement as we partner with you in his safety. So for example, you can go to Costco or Walmart or anywhere where they sell disinfectant wipes and your son is gonna be required to bring at least seven disinfectant wipes to school on the days that he comes to campus. Remember, he's coming to campus at least twice a week. Boys that have practices after school or before school will need to bring more than that, but at a minimum, each student must bring with him disinfectant wipes to school. For what purpose? So that he can wipe down his desk and other high touch areas each class period. We will be taking our precautions, but I'm gonna need your son to take those as well. I do wanna let parents and students know that because of the temperature check process before school, we're gonna be opening our campus in the fall when school begins in August at 7 a.m. We're gonna have about 300 students that need to be scanned to have their temperature taken. And so we'll begin that at 7 a.m., but classes are not gonna begin until 8.20. We're starting a little bit later in the morning to allow that to occur. So that means we'll also be getting out a little bit later this upcoming school year at 2.40 instead of our regular 2.20 time. This is necessary so that we can have the proper protocols in place to keep our campus as safe and secure as possible. 
The good news for the incoming freshmen is that we will be having you on campus going through this similar process when we begin summer school on Monday, July 6th. So freshmen are also going to be divided into two cohorts, purple and white, with some freshmen coming on Mondays and Thursdays, and another group of freshmen coming on Tuesdays and Fridays for their classes, with all classes being offered on Wednesdays online. We'll be giving you more information about this as we get closer, but I just wanted to give you this heads up and for you to buy those disinfectant wipes and masks so that you come safe and secure onto the campus. In a few days, we'll also be giving you updated sports information as to when we're going to have fall conditioning begin for our students. We will be starting conditioning this summer. We're just counting the days until we know we can fully open our campus to allow for sports practices to resume. Also following very safe and secure ways of conditioning so that you stay safe, our coaches stay safe, and you get the exercise and the training that you need. So on behalf of all of us at Cathedral, we're looking forward to having you back both on campus and online as we implement our new hybrid system of education. Go families!